On 25th July 2016, well-known transport photographer Fred Ivey celebrated his 90th birthday and was treated to a ride in CRL4 from East Croydon to East Grinstead for a ride on the Bluebell Railway, followed by a buffet reception at the Bessemer Arms with speeches from Barry Coward, who organised the event, Roy Watts from the Bluebell Railway and Barry Lejeune, chairman of the London Transport Museum Friends. Roger Throat presented a copy of his book on LT bus privatisation. Roger Wright from the London Bus Company provided and drove CRL4. train at Amsterdam Central and immediately ran into the car examiner at Baker Street. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's, it's just that he's so well liked, he's probably so well known and so well respected, I think we can all agree that. Um, I think we need to first of all say, um, Happy birthday, Fred. Yes. Yeah. 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 and having a very happy birthday, thanks to you all. Yeah. 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 What I'd like to say is that um, in our booking office, Gavin and Fred and Barry all know, there's some photographs of people, I've got to say now past and present, of course, today, and hope you do enjoy us today. And 90. Christ knows what we're going to do when you're 100. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, stop planning. But uh, anyway, I know you've had a toast, but you know, for half of the Bluebell Eye, right, Fred, a very happy 90th birthday. May you have many more. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. And now, and now um, Barry Dijon, who many of you know, um, chairman of the Friends of the LT Museum, which uh, Fred is a uh, hard-working volunteer, um, 
will, will follow on from something that Roy's just mentioned. Uh, yes, he will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We've got Monsieur <laughs> Troy. <laughs> there must be something about 1926. If you look at the people who've had significant, and particularly 90th birthdays this year, of course Ooh. we start with Her Majesty the Queen, we go down David Attenborough, uh, we go to uh, Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we go to Michael Bond, who invented the other bear, Paddington Bear. So it's been quite a it's been quite a year for 90ths already. Um, but it's great to be able to add Fred to the list of the, uh, of the great 90ths in, uh, in 2016. Um, I'm not going to say anything about Fred's uh, illustrious underground career, other than to note that um, he was quite used to popping his head above the publicity parapet even then, because I've got here a copy of the London Transport magazine of September 1969, and there is a whole page actually about someone called Frederick Heidegger, along with some uh, uh, underground colleagues, was on a busman's holiday to look at trams in the continent. But of course the thing you notice about this is there is a photo of Fred, and if you look at the photo of Fred taken in 1969, and if you look at Fred now, <laughs> not as a so <laughs> There is something, I think, about perpetual middle age that Fred has managed to uh, capture, uh, which perhaps he ought to give us the secret of the bottle and, and sell on. But you may uh, all have a secret because you follow a particular interest. There's the photo of Fred, whatever. Um, the people have take, taken such trouble to, to keep good records of what has happened over the years and taken uh, photographs and, and uh, mementos of, of everything that has happened. Um, and um, how much we owe to everybody who has kept this, these sort of records and who has, has uh, uh, photographed them and, and, and so on. Um, so I'm delighted to uh, recognise Fred's contribution in this way um, and in doing so to present a certain recently published book. <laughs> uh, so, so here we are. Thanks Fred. Oh, thank you ever so much. Oh, wow, beautiful. Thank you ever so much. I enjoy reading that over the coming months. Excellent. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Now, finally, I'd like to thank back for the because he's got a forest crop. Can we have the camera back, please? Oh, no, it's all right. I've got a forest crop. Yes. You have to get it, so you have to keep mental time. Oh, Roy's doing that. Can I say there is a, there's a card which, if anybody hasn't sent individual cards to Fred, they want to add another name to this one. Uh, I'll leave it on my table over there. <laughs> <laughs> I've wrecked the system. As some of you may know, over the last two or three years, I've been doing Fred's oral history project and with Fred's permission we actually managed to publish part of it and that's the time of the Bevan, Bevan boy and it's on YouTube so the YouTube for an idea to now and now for the moment we will be waiting for okay. it's a four letter word Fred but your birthday wouldn't be your birthday without a cake so I'll tell you a few stories about this but I challenged my daughter to make a cake <laughs> but uh, happy birthday, Fred. I'll put that there for you. And I suppose in the time tradition honour. I think we'll all enrol you all for the Sheffield Park Mail and the ladies. <laughs> <of course. laughs> oh, well done, Barry. You can have the job. Oh, I must be lost. Did you realise that in 1926? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, what am I to do, Barry? You're in charge. You're, say whatever you wish, what to say. Oh, shall I say it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell us the truth. <laughs> it's not my 90th birthday. <laughs> well, again, this is uh, an occasion which is a great occasion. Uh, I never thought I'd make today uh, when I left the underground 
uh, almost 25 years ago. I was reminded by Brian earlier on that I should have left the underground on the 25th of July 1991, but due to an administrative error, I finished up by actually leaving on the 26th. Um, in those days, weren't allowed to stay a day with the 65, so I was a bit unique. Of course, since then, you are allowed. But then, uh, various things happened, and uh, I went off immediately. I didn't want to leave the work. I, I used to enjoy playing trains. Uh, who doesn't? And uh, talking to controllers and people like Brian was always good fun. Some of the controllers weren't good fun, were they, Brian? Some of them were. Uh, <laughs> others were right. Brian and I, and I always got well together. Uh, but then time came to go, uh, and I went, of course. Uh, initially, we went on a big trip with RM 1571. Mm -hmm. Ever remember that bus? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, and you were on it, weren't you? Yeah. And you were on it, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone else on that trip? And we did this great trip of, in Poland. And do you remember that day, Brian, when we went on a train to some obscure place? Uh, and when we got there, there wasn't a train back. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, then when the RM, we couldn't get, or something went wrong. Well, we couldn't get in the RM because we'd left the keys behind. Yeah, right. the the and then you couldn't climb through it. Yeah, right. So in the end, you and I stayed <laughs> for about four or five hours in the heat. Bored stiff, yeah. waiting for the bus to come back. Sorry, I called it a coolie, I believe. Oh, yeah, well, you wouldn't remember yeah. names, I wouldn't. Mm. Um, Yes, Coonan, yeah. I remember that I remember that so well. So that was the first thing that I came back and life set, settled down and then one day I thought I'd come to the Bluebell Railway. Um, just to have a look at some special event. Uh, I arrived at the Bluebell Railway. Who do I meet at Horstic Cairns? Barry Cowan. <laughs> oh hello Fred, would you like to come down and view the trains from the track? Yes. And all day down it was Meet Fred used to be on the Metropolitan, you know, I almost could have been the manager of the Metropolitan. <laughs> 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 uh, and uh, then there was the... I've now got... I've got the scrap. The Barry Oh, it's straight. Well, it's not straight. Anyway, I've got to cut through the round. She's got the long mask on that one. Yeah, she should have got that one. I'm only going to pretend to do this one. Wow. There we are. Right. Well, it did look I would like to say, I know I've already said one thing, but now I've remembered what I wanted to say beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that this pursuit that we all go in for, it's not a hobby, it's a pursuit, and that's all down to Russell, who, when he missed 30 route masters, and I said, what are you moaning about? He said, it's not a hobby, it's a pursuit, and it's been a pursuit with me ever since. So it's a pursuit, uh, this wonderful pursuit that we all pursue, uh, has the benefit of getting you around about, it has the benefit of keeping you fit, but the main benefit is the wonderful friends that you make along the way. Yeah. I've known many, many wonderful people over the years, and today proves I still know many, many wonderful people. And um, thank you all for coming, and thank you for all your lovely cards, which will be treasured. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well. Some, 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 some